161 Anna's Hope, also known as Shoys. Estate Shoys is one of St. Croix's premier gated communities with a beach um, and right adjacent to the Buccaneer Hotel and Beach Resort and Golf Course. And this is the cheapest house in this neighborhood, which is always the best investment. Right on the corner here, as you come in, this continues up. I forget the name of this road, but it takes you to the back of Shoys. But here you have a pillar to the left, a pillar to the right, 161. And a nice little three bedroom, two bath, main house with a one bedroom apartment, a separate workshop and storage room, and a pool. So the house needs some work. Um, it's definitely been through the rental market for a number of years, so it's time for a refresher. But given the location, the proximity to Christiansted, and the fact that you're in estate choice, this is a really good opportunity to own the cheapest house in the most expensive neighborhood on St. Croix. You come in and there's a laundry room right off to the right, but as you can see, it's a big, expansive, great room. High ceilings, AC up above, kitchen's off on this left corner with an island. Comes with all the furniture that you see in it. The house is not occupied at the moment, so it's vacant and easy to show. But you got your dishwasher, stainless sink, fridge, oven, micro, and then an electric cooktop there as well. You got the Mexican Saltillo floors. This is a really big room for a three bedroom house. Off to the left, come through a little foyer, and to the right is the guest bath with a skylight and glass door. You know, a little dated, but totally functional. Um, this house was occupied recently, so it's a completely liv livable house. So if you wanted to buy it and move in and then do the reno stuff later, it'd be amazing what a simple coat of paint here would do to really freshen it up. And of course, some furniture. Got your AC here. So this bedroom has a slider that leads out to the pool patio and this covered veranda. I will shoot over to the second guest bedroom. And here we are, same nice floors. Got good breeze flow with a double window airflow situation. But again, AC. So those are the two guest bedrooms and the guest bath. And then opposite side, is master bedroom, really spacious room, storage up above the walk-in closet. And then the master bath is here. Now granted, the tiling's a little dated and whatnot, but you know, you could move right in and live here. Big shower, another skylight. This could be, you know, you could do a jacuzzi tub here or a double shower. You wanna put another, a his and hers double, you could do that but lots of room. And then the last thing to see in the house, and then you got the walk-in closet there, which is pretty generous. And then the last thing to see inside the main part is the laundry room over in this corner. This is where the um, washer, dryer, I actually noticed there's, it is an electric dryer, but there is a um, propane line that runs out and down to the propane tanks. It's not used now, they've chosen to go electric, but if you wanted to save a little WAPA power, you could definitely switch to uh, propane real easily. Here's your main breaker panel. You've got an instant on hot water heater. That's an old alarm system that could be removed. Easy access to a lot of your systems there. And so that's the main house. Now we'll go outside and check out the uh, pool area. Okay, leading out to the pool in the center is a slider, to the left is a slider, and to the right is a slider. So you could really open those up and get a lot of breeze. But look how big this covered patio is here. We're one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven plus grout. Probably a 12 foot width on this. Runs the full length of the house. Got your resident rooster over here. That's the guest bedroom slider. 
very peaceful, quiet neighborhood. Lots of mature landscaping and palms. Your cisterns are out here. Here's one cistern cover. One of the benefits of having your cistern cover outside is if you're doing cleaning and maintenance on it, the guys aren't coming into your house and kind of messing up the floors. Everything's outside. Here's the other cistern cover. So I'm pretty sure, here's looking back to where I started the video over at the entrance. I'm pretty sure this runs cistern from here. Hi, Steph. Hi, Chris. All the way down to here, approximately here, because underneath this whole area, which I'll show you in a minute, is the um, pool pump, cistern pump, and filter system, and where all the panel shutters are stored. As you can see, there's tracks below and above for aluminum panels throughout the whole house, and they're stored down here. The pool obviously is um, a subject to talk about. We've got, you know, issues with the deck. It's obviously um, sort of lived its lifetime, uh, time for a new pool area. So that's something you're gonna have to factor into the budget. Um, I mean, it's still sort of walkable, but as you can see, there's definitely some issues with some, sa some sagging there, some sagging there. Um, and the pool is a fiberglass pool and you can see the actual fiberglass is now exposed through the gel coat. So this whole area, you're gonna have to set aside, you know, a budgetary situation where you can upgrade this area later. Now, in the meantime, if you want to just get rid of it for now, while you sit on it and think about how you're going to design it, you could easily extend these wooden railways, which are reasonably inexpensive to build, in between these three arches and just have a normal patio here. And for now, just remove all of that while you plan your future. Because here you could obviously go out with a bigger concrete patio. You know, you might want to have a bigger pool, um, maybe an outdoor kitchen with a grill. There's a lot of a lot of opportunity to utilize this space in a much more efficient way. You know, you wouldn't have all the ups and downs with the pool the way it is now. Just have a nice new uh, concrete pool, unless you want to go back with fiberglass, that's up to you. But this could really flow nicely from this patio out to a nice new extended deck with an outdoor kitchen, etc. But that's something you've got to definitely think about in terms of the future. You're going to have to um, address that pool area. But considering the location and the price, that wouldn't stop me from pursuing this house at all. Okay, let's shoot down to the uh, pump room. Two ways to get to the pump room. You could walk around that way to the, around the front of the pool, or you can come this way, which I think is a little bit shorter. But you can see as we walk down, you've got some nice trees. That's a ficus. Um, I don't know what they call that, but it's a beautiful tree and lots of nice shady area. You could do a playground for the kids. Um, the propane line I was telling you about that from the laundry room comes out here. So you could set up a propane tank here and convert that easily to propane dryer. There is a generator building. There is no generator in it right now. It's just being used for storage, but that is all wired in as a generator house. So you know, it'd be a matter of purchasing a generator or solar system, however, which way you want to go. And that's a separate structure from the main house. Oh, it looks like we've had some babies over here, some little chickers. Aw. Yeah, <laughs> so cute. And I believe that is the septic tank there. Now, there's a one bedroom, one bath apartment here with kitchen. Um, the tent has requested that we don't um, go into it now. It certainly can be viewed. Hi. It certainly can be viewed for, um, for showings, but uh, they asked, requested that we don't go and uh, photograph it now. So we're honoring that request, which is quite reasonable. But here's a nice look. Lots of yard, totally usable yard space. And then there's a lower parking area for the apartment. So this is the apartment which is underneath the guest bedroom side of the house. And then through this door is our uh, you know, workshop pump room. A little pull string light. Nice and clean in here. Here's all the uh, storage for the shutters with all the nuts and bolts and hardware needed to install them. And then you've got your cartridge style filtration system, pool pump. Obviously this is all decommissioned at the moment based on the situation with the pool, but you got a brand new cistern pump that was just installed, pressure tank. You do have the UV Sanitron filter, triple filters, good setup. 
And then your two cisterns coming in, your east and your west, currently pulling off the west. And then you've got, it looks like home runs to most of the showers and uh, sinks and whatnot. So a little electric water heater, nice little workshop. I mean, you could utilize this space by putting in some, you know, counters and cabinets and stuff and really uh, gussy it up a little bit, but great little storage room workshop area and all the equipment is in good shape. There's a little bit of a sinkhole with this driveway and the owner isn't sure what caused that. It's been developing over the last, I don't know, 20 years or so, but I think it's a matter of filling it, compacting it and just paving over it again. But here you are down at the corner, as you can see the neighbor across the street, you have got another neighbor across the street here. You got a vacant lot here and then a house and then another house, but great spot. I mean, if you can imagine all of this being taken out and redone, you could have a really pretty pool area up there that maybe had some stairs down to the front yard. Um, just a great spot in a great neighborhood. So if you're looking in this price range, you know, and you want to be in sort of an exclusive neighborhood, this is uh, by far nothing this affordable in Shoys. So this is your chance to take advantage of that opportunity and uh, raise your family in a super awesome neighborhood. So. That's about the whole story. Appreciate your watching, and if you want to check it out, give us a holler. I'll set you up an appointment. We can show this on short notice because it is vacant at the moment. That could change. But for now, 161 Anna's Hope, ready to show. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day. Bye bye.